Hello gentlemen, Muhammad Qasim Shinwari, the project management expert with you. In previous video, we learned how to download and install the trial version of Primavera P6. Uh, in this video, we are uh, going to learn what are the different menus and tools uh, that we will need uh, in this all training uh, video tutorial set as well as in your real uh, projects when you will be creating your projects in Primavera P6. After that, uh, we are going uh, to add uh, a new project uh, for the sake of simplicity. I have uh, selected a very simple project which is the construction of a villa. Uh, construction of a villa is a simple project which can be understood by different uh, construction industries people I believe. Uh, after adding uh, the project, we will learn uh, how to see which project is open, how to close a project, how to open a project, and all this basic stuff in this videos. Uh, in the further videos, then, we will learn the other course of action. So let's get started. Before uh, defining, uh, adding projects and adding activities, let us have some overall view of this Primavera. At the top there is Primavera P6 Professional 16.1. No current project means no project is open. When you open a project or multiple projects their name will be displayed here at the title bar. Next to the title bar is the main menu where you will find all the menus. Next to it is the main toolbar. To my right is the command toolbar. To my left is the director toolbar. This portion is called as details. If a project is open, we will call it project details. And if we have opened activity layout, this will be called as activity details. If you cannot see this or you want to hide this, you have a button here or go to toolbar, add or remove buttons and here is no bottom layout. Now it is hidden. If you again click, if you right click and click project details. These are project details. If you are showing here WBS, then this will be called as WBS details and so on. Let us define a new project and this will clarify all the commands step by step. Click add, select EPS. EPS stands for Enterprise Project Structure. Right now, I'm not defining APS as I don't need it right now. I'm interested just to create a new project and add some activities to it. Click Next. Project ID. There will always be a project ID. Let us say our project ID is C001. And our project name is Construction of Villa. We are creating a new project in which we will uh, make a, a short schedule of a villa, construction of a villa. Go to next. Project plan start date. Let me assume that the project plan start date is 6th of February 2017 must finish by. If you know the project finish date, enter it here. But it's still advisable not to enter this must finish by date. For the time being, leave it empty and click next. Responsible manager, next. We are not defining any responsible manager. Rate type, price per unit, okay, next. So the project is now created. Click finish. The project is now created. Make sure that you are in the project's layout. If you are not in the project's layout, click on the project's toolbar. 
when you define a project it is automatically opened and you can see the name of the project which is open is C001 construction of villa now click on activities and this is the activities window uh, so that's it you learned the new tools the uh, menus uh, how I hope you will be excited to learn to getting started actually to learn uh, the Primavera P6 uh, I'm also excited when I will see you uh, learning the new skills and also uh, ping me how you are uh, going to read these videos and how it can be further improved. Uh, my email address is mail at kasimshinwari.com. See you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.